you might remember me from such earlier videos as some, some summer 2014 book hauls and uh, winger review. I'm back with a new video. I'm sorry I haven't been making anything. I've been really busy and a little bit lazy, um, but here I am uh, with a new book haul. This is my birthday book haul because uh, I had my birthday earlier in the month and I got a couple books. A lot of them bought by myself and a couple bought by other people. Um, and so yeah, we'll go through those. Let's just get started. The first book I got is the companion novel to the best book I read in April. So April I might have read it at the end of March. But one of the best books I have ever read of all time and that book that I read was Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wine. Um, and so in sort of honor of my birthday but also because my sister owed me money she bought me Rose Under Fire which is the companion novel. They go together, they take place in the same kind of Obviously, it's the same kind of world as Earth. It's historical fiction based in World War II. Um, a couple of the characters from this book show up in that one, but there's a different protagonist, and they're both very interesting stories that I cannot stress enough. I really wish that everybody would read these. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, I love romances and reading about romances, but sometimes you just want to read about things like platonic friendships. And this, these feature fantastic female friendships and the characters in these books are a little on the older side of YA characters typically are about 19, 20 years old. And so this one's really interesting because it's about a pilot and a spy and oh, it's just really good. And then this one, Rose Under Fire, is about a pilot who gets stuck in a women's concentration camp in Nazi Germany, okay? and. I read both of them and they were really good. This one was a little bit better than this one, but maybe because, I don't know, this one hurt my heart a little bit more. Um, but they were both really good and I am giving these to everybody that I know forever and ever and ever. Uh, forever. The next book I got, I bought for myself um, in the um, spirit of my birthday gift giving to myself, you know. So I got myself this Cruel Beauty, which is the first book. Uh, the newest book came out called Crimson Bound. That one's with a green cover. This one's with a red one even though crimson is red. I have a friend I made online um, that I met a few weeks ago uh, and she recommended this book to me. Highly recommended this one. I um, she recommended another one that I got later. I'll show you next. But this one she recommended it and this is as far as I know it's a sort of a retelling of Beauty and the Beast story and I hear that the different books in the series tackle different fairy tales. So uh, that's interesting to me. I really liked Cinder. Obviously it's not, I don't think this is a sci-fi kind of retelling, but it is a retelling. And so I hope to get to this in a couple weeks. I've got a couple more books that are in my priority list before I get to this one, but I did buy this for a reason now, also for the excuse of my birthday. The next book I got was a gift for my sister for my birthday, and this one is called The Winner's Curse by Marie Rakowski. Yeah. Um, this one is a really cool um, story. I just finished this two nights ago. It's sort of an imperial kind of world where these two nations, one has conquered the other and made the other its slaves. And this book kind of tells the story of rebels, but also really what happens when the general's daughter, the general who led the conquering of the other nation, when his daughter goes to the marketplace and purchases a slave of the other nation, and then what kind of ensues from there, which is really interesting. So there's a romance in this story, and also sort of political allegory. That mix was really interesting for me. The next book I bought was a total impulse buy, again, in the spirit of my birthday, this one came recommended, or I'd heard of it from Team Epic Reads from HarperCollins um, in one of their Tea Time videos, and that book that I got is Magonia by Maria Davana Headley. Uh, this is sort of a fantasy novel, um, and it's just a really pretty cover. Underneath, there's an imprint of a feather, the same feather as on this, it's on the cover. It's all nice, as Magonia. 
But yeah, it's really pretty. I did an Instagram video of this book actually just because I have intense cover lust for it and uh, Maria actually tweeted about it or she reshared my Instagram video um, which was really exciting. Obviously always exciting to get author interaction so that happened um, and if Neil Gaiman blurbed it that's it's a pretty good sign. Also on the back Victoria Aveyard also blurbed this and a lot of people are really reading Red Queen right now um, and so I don't know. I don't know, do people really care about blurbs? I kind of care about them a little bit, but I say I don't care about them. And the last book I got uh, was really exciting. It's a book that I got from one of my really good friends. Uh, and that book is A Number in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. Everybody, everybody's reading this book on booktube right now. Uh, there's like the Ember Explosion, because it's a book, explosion, book of the month. Um, that's not why I have it, but um, that's a thing, and if you haven't read this book yet, get your hands on it now because it's going to be huge. A Number in the Ashes is another kind of imperial story where one nation has conquered another nation for over, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years now. It's, it's told in dual narrative. One story is that of a person from the Empire. He's one of the most well-trained soldiers out there. And then the other story is that of a very low caste person in the conquered nation. And then you kind of see how their stories eventually entwine, not necessarily in a romantic way, but just very independently, they're on two different paths that eventually cross, which is very, it's a very satisfying read. It's a very exciting, action-based, and I actually read an arc of this book in 2014, and it was one of the best reads I had read that year uh, in my life probably. Um, so my friend got this. She went to actually an author signing with Sabbath to here. So this book is actually, let me flip it open. Ah, it's signed. It's signed. It's signed by Sabbath to here. This is her signature but it's also kind of the mask thing because these well-trained soldiers in the book have these really cool scary kind of metal masks that mold to their faces. Um, and so her signature is like a mix of the mask and her name, which is really great. And this is personalized. It says for Dulcie and it's so exciting. I can't believe I can it. Ah! Ah! So that's it for now. That's my book haul for you. I hope to do a few more videos in the summer. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna really try to do a couple more. So, um, there's some consistency uh but for now that's it thank you uh, if you're interested in learning about more about any of these books just uh comment below or i'll probably throw in the goodreads links in there um and if you've recently bought any of these books also or if you've already read them leave me a comment down below what you think or what you're anticipating or why you bought it or just leave me a comment because nobody comments on these things and i am so ready to reply to people so that's a thing that you can do or not. Um, it's totally up to you. And that's it for now. Okay, bye.